and Derek at the Luminax for in East Brunswick, New Jersey. We're going to be doing the carpenter bee treatment for a real estate certification. Uh, the bees are quite active uh, during the spring and summer, and you can still see them in the fall. And then all this damage could be caused by both the bees because the wood's hollow, and there's like a thin layer on top, which the uh, birds, like woodpeckers, will come get. And I use a special formulation to get into these to treat the uh, the eaves, and it'll definitely. Uh, get into the galleries and as the bees are coming out as the bees are getting exposed to the, the chemical it definitely will kill them all off get inside those galleries and then what I'm going to be doing after it dries we're going to patch up the holes so it doesn't cause any further damage I give a treatment on the surface and also into the, uh, the eaves. And then after everything's done, we can go up there and uh, do like a more strategic injection to make sure, uh, try to get them to emerge later. But they could die over time. Usually I do these treatments and then the customers report they're finding them dead even weeks, even two months later. They're finding dead ones, you know, because of the life cycle of the bees. You may kill the adults, but then the uh, the juveniles will emerge, and the chemical is still active for about a good 90 days. And they'll keep killing them. So you got like a little trap there, trying to catch catch the bees, but it's, it's not designed. They're not yellow jackets. They're uh, they're carpenter bees. I treat the or turf ornamentals, give it a nice little treatment on top, and that and I just kind of reduce it to uh, the areas of activity. I don't get too crazy with the chemical usage; it's too good, it works too well, so we don't want to, you know, kill any non-target bees. But this time of the year, you're going to get a lot of hornets and yellow jackets uh, seeking shelter once it starts getting into the 40s. But with biology, their biology, they're starting to look for shelter anyways. Because it's getting colder at night. They just have a, they just have an internal clock, they know. You know, they know the season's over for them. Especially when the uh, plants and flowers stop producing. And then they're gonna have to uh, leave the nest. But carpenter bees, they actually overwinter into the structure. So we have to remove those. Because over time, in the back, it's really bad. I'll put another part to your video of the back. But it gets, it gets really bad. They cause all that damage. Uh, this is not, not, as, not as bad as the, uh, as the back. The back, it's like, you don't know. It's... The wood's like 50% eaten up. We should just replace the wood entirely. But if it's, uh, you know, if it's more than, if it's more than 50, 60% solid. Uh, you, you could, uh, you could install uh, aluminum wraps like this one. It has the wood on top, but then they wrapped the the bottom part. The guy came in and and, and capped them off. So you just put like a little wrap and if the wood solid enough you could you know you could nail them on looks really good they didn't even have to use caulking but they did a really good job here it's beautiful how they overlapped it and this one over here they put on some strips that's pretty good work you can see the carpenter bees still behind it the carpenter bees are still behind it even though it is wrapped they're still doing damage behind it so it still should be treated, but at least there's no visible damage that has to be repaired. You can see some uh, carpenter bees going up. But I'm not doing this property, I'm just doing it's a duplex, so when you're applying pesticides, you're only allowed to. You're only allowed to uh, put treatment on, because uh, you have to keep a record of the property and how much you used in target areas. So I can't just spray like the neighbor's house just for heck of it, they have to be on 
there has to be an agreement that I educated them about what I'm doing and the process, what to expect. I can't just, just spray the neighbor's house just in case, just for the heck of it. They have to know what's going on and I have to report that. So we have to actually do an agreement. All right, I'm gonna get going and get started on this side. I'm gonna do a little cleanup and uh, start patching up some of these holes. Have a good day.